So why are flyers so good? In my opinion, in Engage. And in general, but especially in Engage. So there's this thing called Flyers Only, where it's an exclusive club that all these land units aren't allowed to go. So you can see this guy, he's on his horse, and he's ready to go. But guess what he's going to have to do? He's going to have to hold his horse. Because his horse can't fly over water. So how is he going to get over here and hang out with the big boys? He's not. He's just going to be sitting there on the ground, wishing he had unimpeded mobility and could fly over different things like rocks, water, rock, water, and so on. So we're going to punish him for being a simple land unit. We're going to stab him. We're going to let him know who's boss. We're going to stab him and fly over the water taunting them. Now I completely trivialized uh, this skirmish and a bunch of maps with flyers. Uh, flyers enable some pretty broken stuff. Honestly, I'll probably stop using them because they're too good. Um, like, Wyvern is insane because I think you get 20%... You get 20% strength and I think like 10% speed. It's either 5 or 10% speed. Uh, it might be 20%, I don't know. I can't remember some of these things on the top of my head. But it's pretty good. And you can see that these dudes are just stuck. Like, they literally physically can't get to me. They can't hit me at all. I'd have to let them hit me. They're, just, <laughs> they're trying to find a way that... Oh, they can hit Ivy, so they're rerouting. Yeah, so the funny thing is, like, if I put a unit here, they'll move there. If I put a unit over here, they'll move over here. Because they're, they're looking for a, a, a possible attack. So the AI, so now it's coming back. <laughs> like, oh, okay, we'll come. We'll come back, we'll come back. Also, none of these have ranged weapons, so I can just, like, abuse them. And as long as they can't hit anyone, uh, they can't really get that. Like, if they can't hit anyone, they won't move. So, but flyers are pretty insane just for this reason. I'm power leveling Jade, ideally. She's very under leveled right now. We need to feed her. It won't be hard to do though, all I have to do is just bait them to get close to the shore. She doesn't have Canter, which is unfortunate. But this is one of the many reasons why flyers are good. They're also good because of flexibility. All the flying, like end game flying classes, have access to multiple things. So in Ivy and Hortensia's case, they have tomes and stabs. In Wyvern's case, it has axes and swords or axes and spears. In Griffin Knight's case, it has any martial weapon plus stabs. So they also double as healers and utility staff users, which is actually pretty sick. If you ask me. But yeah, flying is pretty good. The other thing, the other reason it's good is you can sit on fire and then enemy ground units get impeded by the fire. You can fly right over it. You can fly right over literally everything except for things that are impassable. And it's just pure upside. You can't go wrong having a few flyers. Now, how many flyers is too many flyers? Because on my first playthrough, I think I had like seven. And there, was, there weren't too many situations where it was bad because of Lucina bond shield. Like you can just use her bond shield um, like on a flying unit with a bunch of fast flying units and you can tank anything and then Lu the way Lucina works is you have a bunch of high uh, support level allies around you your avoid spikes up so then the thing in the middle that isn't bond shielded has insane avoid and usually doesn't get attacked so it all kind of works out uh, you have Lucina bond shield that breaks the game you have the mobility you have the access to different routes you know, there's some, there's some maps that have, like, walls where there's, like, rubble you can fly over. Uh, I think it's just pure upside, to be honest. All right, and then if I want to drag some more enemies over, I can just bait them. But little things like this are quite broken. There were other flyers on this map, but we shot them down. We shot them all down. All right, they're going to be mad. They're going to be coming over. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these fools. They think they're going to kill me. Really, I'm just going to feed Jade XP. Another reason why they're good is because they get staff access on Griffin Knight, and that's pretty good. Staff access allows a unit to start to level itself up if it's under leveled. Uh, it allows you to run utility stabs like obstruct, freeze, restore, stuff like this. And there's just like no downside to using them. It also is free XP for you know leveling up low-level units. All right, someone should have. Mentorship, maybe. 
Uh, I guess no one has it anymore. All right, so she's just gonna get a Leer boosted and then just throw axes. So there's there's actually quite a few maps where you can do stuff like this. There's a few paralogs where this is possible. And another thing, another upside of flyers is that when you warp strap them, you can warp them to weird places like this that enemies can't reach. Like Leaf Paralog, or I'm sorry, not Leaf, um, Sigurd's Paralog. You can fly over and start attacking all the mages around him. And you can even kill him easily without, without fighting all those extra reinforcements. Um, however, you should fight those extra reinforcements and kill them all using a Lucina shield bond. And I did, that's what I did <laughs> with my flyer scroll. <laughs> so there's really no downside. I know a lot of people are talking about thieves and stuff, but thieves can't fly, so... When thieves can fly, let me know, and then I might start running them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I'm gonna be running them in my third playthrough. But, dude, flyers are just so good. It's... I'll have to, It's like a... I feel like I'd be handicapping myself by not running them, but I, I do have to start running other stuff. Aside from flying spam. It's just so good. Like... There, there's so many upsides. It's it's amazing. All right, so that's it for this one. Uh, definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful or interesting. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know if you think flyers are bad and why, or why you don't like flyers, because I'm I'm genuinely curious about that. I think some people actually do dislike them, so I want to know why that is. I think they're like the best thing. Uh, one of some of the main arguments against them. Uh, really, the main argument against them is, like, their weakness to bows. And I've never found that to be a problem in almost any Fire Emblem game. I usually find that it's not that difficult to mitigate this problem. Like, you can easily get around it. Just with, like, good positioning. And use of abilities and things like warp. So, so yeah. Definitely like and subscribe. Peace.